I'm jamming. Year here, damn. I'm jamming. <laughs> it's Monday. It's Reach Around Radio. It's your boy, Speedy. No, it's not. Speedy's not a white face. It's RT in the building. What's up, y'all? Mm. It's the poetess. She go. Shout out to rehearsal. <laughs> she girl, Claudia Jordan. What's up, y'all? It's Tita on Twitter, y'all. And all the ladies that's out there, if y'all want to come over to my crib <laughs> and get down for a little bit of this dang thing. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it sounds God. so stupid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play some music like this. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You got a dope beat? I got a dope beat. You got a back dope beat? Back on crack. Uh. Who took my sack? I want to smoke, so I want my shit back. Uh. Light up the pipe. All night. Uh, That's all I got. <laughs> Turn it that up, song bro. is dedicated to somebody. <laughs> you know, uh, Boogie Down Production sampled this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to uh, Columbus Junior High in the Valley. Now, when do you we know ditched. all these songs? We ditched. And we went to the 7-Eleven. First, I used the word ditched. Yeah. <laughs> so I got put on game. So... European dude put up in like a 70 Chevelle and he was bumping it. I said, oh my God, this song is incredible. <laughs> incredible. Yeah, I'm back in black. <laughs> Having a white mother and taking on a little trip up to Massachusetts to, to visit her uh, white Italian whatever friends. She'd be playing all this stuff. All really? The all the rock and roll stuff? What? You know, remember roll. like this stuff? Kenny Rogers, just whatever the white channel was, she have it on. Kenny Rogers is classic. Man, Dolly Parton, Islands in the Stream, <laughs> For, Foreign a Journey, all that stuff. No wonder you don't like white people. The smell of wine is sweet. I wouldn't like white people if I listened to that, too. I was felt kidnapped. I love it. <laughs> Get me out of here. Listen listens to that stuff all the time. I do. And I remember when hip-hop first kind of came out, and mm-hmm. I would try to sneak my little... Just like it was just a grimy stuff, like just ice, and she oh, swallowed yeah. it, and by it, like that kind of stuff. I was like bumping. My mom was like, "Who's my daughter?" Hilarious. <laughs> That's not islands in the stream, Claudia. <laughs> yeah. We have a phone call. <laughs> call her. What's your name? Where you calling from? What's up, y'all? This is Ron from DC. Hey, hey Ron. Ron. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing this evening? What's up, man? Yeah, great, what's great. Going on? That's good, that's good. Now, I was just calling about the whole election thing that's going down tomorrow. Mm. And being in the battleground where, where, it's, where it's supposed to be going down at mm-hmm. because this is what they're fighting for over here. I also want to let everybody know out there who probably didn't know, my man Dante um, hit me to it. Um, the whole, uh, well, yeah, Dante hit me to it that um, Taraji P. Henson uh, put out a tweet today stating that for anybody that's going to vote tomorrow, don't just tag all Democrat because that's not going to be this. That's not going to be the vote for Barack Obama. You have to look for Barack's name, for Barack's name first. Hit, vote for his name first, then hit all Democrats, and then he'll get that vote that you, that he will need to um, to be to stay in the White House to keep Romney's punk ass from out of there. Mm-hmm. So just wanted to let everybody know to get that out there to let everybody know that to make sure. To look for Obama's name first, then hit all all Democrat, and then y'all we should be safe and keep Obama where he's at. It's amazing some of the hoops job, people have to jump through this election day. You know, with computer glitches, with changing deadlines, and yes. polling places, and I mean it's the fear of the planet. So just like when Tiger won the uh, Masters in '97, they got to put new trees out there. We got lift in the course. We got to put sand traps over here. So they always want to change the rules after we, you know, do what we do. So we know that's in place. So baby, just stay in that four hour, that five hour line. Fry you some chicken or something, <laughs> and hang out. You know, what I mean, make it an event. Don't just stand in line and be bored. Make that's it an party. event. Make it it's like a, a tailgate party. party. Yeah. At some of the uh, locations. Food's being brought to the voters by huh. Obama's team, which is really nice. And they have music playing, and kind of like a little block party, I guess. Yeah, you got to. And just um, uh, an election update. About 30 million people have already voted wow. in 34 states. Mm. And the District of Columbia, either uh, uh, by mail or in person, no votes will be counted until Thursday. But in Colorado, uh, there was 1.6 million votes, 35% uh, Democrat. Uh, 37% Republican. In Florida, 4.3 million votes, 43% Democrat, 
forty percent Republican. Mm, go old people. Iowa. <laughs> Iowa. Oh, yes. Uh forty three uh percent <laughs> Democrats, um thirty two percent Republicans. So it looks like more Democrats are voting in these states. What does it say for Ohio? Because that's that's the key one. Ohio right? one point six million, twenty nine percent Democrats and twenty three percent Republicans. So Ohio has like uh eighteen Electoral vote or twenty, I think twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 20, up there. It's, it's twenty. Yeah, yeah, twenty. Comes down to Ohio and Florida, basically. Florida twenty nine. Right, right. Oof. Um, yeah. Well, a lot of the uh, Democrats they're known historically for voting early, and then uh, we'll see what happens on election day. Hopefully, we still have a lot of gas in the tank for election day, and there's a lot of people out there who still haven't voted. So get yeah. out there and vote. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Um, we have a caller calling in at. 7 30 this time so before we get into hot topics i just wanted to get her on the phone she'll be calling shortly bobby anderson she's the um vice president of the democratic um hold on i got her title right here y'all democratic party right the democratic uh the la county democratic Party. Oh, okay so there she'll be go. breaking down some of the measures on the california ballot but there's some you know a lot going on um with the taxes the same-sex marriage Death penalty, illegal immigration, abortion, health care, all those things are um, some, you know, um, national measures. Right. So, And it's interesting because early on there was all this talk about how there's no uh, enthusiasm on the Democrat side, you know, and all this stuff about, you know, we're, we're lacking enthusiasm. But when these Republicans started trying to take away our right to vote, it, it's kind of inspirational to see all these people that kind of stood up and waiting in these long lines you know it's like when their their right was threatened they you know responded Hell responded yeah. in a major way but it's not really a right it's an amendment so it's something they had to vote on but the whole thing when obama came with the whole change <laughs> welcome like, dan downer to the show <laughs> i mean if i know what i'm talking about I know what i'm talking <laughs> but about it's all right. i apologize it's still a right though <laughs> you know i but, apologize for knowing what i'm talking about oh, <laughs> hey it okay. is what it is but you it's know. A right you know you know it's a right and people you know it's great that they felt threatened and what's going on What's <clears throat> that, Bobby? <clears throat> She's on time. Look at this. <laughs> Fan- to For once on we this show. We have uh, Bobby Anderson, Miss Bobby Anderson, on the phone line. She's the vice hey, president Bobby. of the L.A. County Democratic Party. Welcome to the show, Miss Anderson. Thank you, Paula. How's it going? How How's the vibe? What's the energy um, like being the day before Election Day? Well, I mean, we're all fired up. You know, we're we're really fired up and ready to go, so to speak. We're uh, concerned about uh, top thirty because their standards may be like one running one point behind, given the polling. But we're just really t- trying to get out the vote so okay. that tomorrow we will be successful. Okay. Now, Prop Thirty um, is a measure here um, in uh, California, which pretty much is um, taxing yeah, the rich. To give right. to education, it's the here. governor's initiative, and it's a temporary tax on millionaires to fund our state. You know, like every uh, year for the last five years, we've had like a budget deficit, and uh, the uh, proposition will not only uh, help with the budget deficit, but it will also uh, hire teachers back. You know, and lower the classroom sizes. So. A great portion of the money will go for public education. Okay. And that's for K-12 as well as the uh, community colleges and the UC colleges. Okay. And then we have Prop, what is it, uh, 31? Yes, Prop 31, actually. And, the, by the way, the recommendation on Prop Position 30 for us is to vote yes on that. Yes on thirty on thirty one and what is that? No 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 yes on thirty. Yes on thirty. Oh, yes on. we right. know that. Yes and, th- and uh, <laughs> proposition thirty one, uh, we're recommending they know and that proposition the initiative changes the state budget process and imposes spending caps and limits, which we as uh, people who know that every time something is cut the social programs are cut, and if they're saying they're trying to tie into. Uh, the legislative hands are set half on the different programs that we have. That would not work for us because we know at the end of the day they'll be capping, you know, social services programs, uh, programs that really help us, you know, working families and poor families. So we're not about 
putting caps on things. We're about, you know, doing the budget as, you know, like pay as you go, whatever the situation is at that time, then afford that amount to that program. But not just cap every program because every program don't need the same thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So we're opposed to capping the state budget for programs and spending. Okay. Now we have also uh, the third strike uh, measure is back on the ballot to be amended. And um, most of us are yes on that proposition. Yes, that's Proposition 36. Mm -hmm. Uh, And uh, what it's doing, it's reforming the third strike, uh, the three strikes law. And what it says is that, you know, now... The three, it's up to judges. They have discretion. It's also the DAs in filing uh, these charges for the third strike. But literally what it says is that this will reform three strikes where it will only apply if the third strike is a violent or serious felony. Right now you can be strike at your third strike if you had two previous felonies and then you do like the, uh, the, uh, the guy that got charged with three strikes was the pizza that actually happened mm-hmm. and during 25 years to life so this would remedy that kind of situation the the crime i mean the time should fit the crime so to speak so basically that's what the three strikes uh recommend i mean the uh reform for it uh, is about it's not getting rid of three strikes it's just saying that the third strike should not be just a you know a low base uh Crime. It should be a violent or a serious felony in order to give someone 25 years to life. Okay. Go ahead. So basically, just to recap it real quick for people that are listening, it, right now you can your third strike can be something really silly like stealing a pizza or something, Absolutely. a nonviolent offense, and we want to change that where the third strike, or which will mean life, offense. will change it to a violent offense, right? Okay. What do you find is the most important measure on the ballot uh, for tomorrow that people should really pay attention to? Well, for me, uh, there are two. Uh, well, they're all important, but, don't, but the, the priority for me as a labor organizer and uh, labor union member, Proposition 32, which we didn't touch on, but Proposition 32 is uh, it's really it's a power grab by the most wealthiest people, and it, uh, it's called the Special Exemptions Act. But what it would do, it would actually... Uh, it's designed to silence working people, and yet it would empower super PACs, you know, people who can give as much money as they want to. And I don't know if people are familiar with the law that the court passed where, you know, corporations can give unlimited amounts of money. But and they can take they, it out of your paycheck, right? Unions are, you know, to be able to support candidates who support working families issues. Now, um, on this measure, they can take uh, deductions out of, uh, employees' payroll checks to pay for right. certain and that's political kind of a campaigns. Myth, what they, yeah, it, that's Whoa. a myth to the degree. Like I pay into a COPE, which is it's called COPE, uh, it's Committee on Political Education. And as a union member, you are given an opportunity to sign a payroll deduction to say, I would like to give three dollars to this COPE fund for political purposes. Mm-hmm. You can they cannot use union dues for political purposes. And that's just the myth that they have out there. So this uh committee that they have within the unions where people can donate, you know, and they can stop donating whenever they want to. It's not anything that is automatically done. Okay. So that's the whole myth about that proposition thirty two. So and you're saying no vote no on that. Okay. One last question. What should people be mindful of when going to the polls um, uh, tomorrow to vote? If they're at the wrong polling place, can they still vote? What are some things that people should be mindful of? Okay. If they if they go to the polling place and say they're not on the roster there and they should be, then they, the very, very first thing that they should do is ask for a provisional ballot. Provisional ballot. And they can still vote. You know what I mean? But do not walk out of there without voting. If that's the polling place that they've gone to before, and maybe, you know, I don't even know if they've moved before. But at any rate, they can still vote provisionally and have that ballot. That ballot will be counted at some point in time after the Does election. that apply to every state or just California? It, 
applies to every state. Okay. Provisional ballots can be asked for anywhere. Isn't yeah. it true that the provisional ballots don't get counted until 10 days after 10 the election? 10 days afterwards, yeah, but still, 10 days, sometimes some elections are not even decided until 30 days afterwards. So, I mean, the key is, is not to walk out of a polling place because your name is not on there and don't vote. Ask for a provisional ballot, and that's what people fail to do a lot of times. They don't understand that that is their right to ask for that. Okay. Any final comments, Ms. Anderson? Yes. The final comment would be to make sure that you go out and vote and vote for the president of the United States to be reelected. And please vote yes on Proposition 30 and no on Proposition 32 and definitely yes on Proposition 36, which is the three strikes law, and also on 34 to amend the death penalty. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Thank for sharing both. this information. And all right, thank you all. You're welcome. You don't want to um, ask her about the uh, marijuana ballot? <laughs> is, that on, is that on this one? I don't think is this, on that's this? in California. I see it's on your, on your sheet. Yeah, but it's in other states like um, oh, Colorado. Bro, where's, yeah. my, where's my marijuana? Oh, Arkansas is uh, issue number five, permits medical use of marijuana. They're saying that the majority of measure votes likely to fail. So. Wow. So in Arkansas, you can smoke weed and have sex with your cousin. That is okay. going to be legal. That is Proposition 69 in Arkansas. Make sure you vote yes on that. Yeah, yeah. So you guys going early, early in the day to vote? Late? What you yeah, go? I'm going first thing in the morning. And I've already, um, if you don't know uh, where your polling place is, I actually went to the um, Secretary, of, Secretary of State website. And put in my zip code or my address, and right. they show and you, tell you where tell nice. you where to go. Yes, but like uh, Miss Anderson said, if you're not on the list, you can get a provisional ballot. Provisional ballot is the key, I guess. No, I'm on the list. Plus one, plus <laughs> one. <laughs> wow. We you got some v- hot topics. <laughs> Are you gonna vote early? Are you gonna get up and go early? I'm gonna go early. It's walking distance from my place, so yeah, oh, mine that's cool. too. Like yeah, two that's blocks awesome. away, so I don't have to get dressed up and just. just Hey, lady in the robe. Right. <laughs> I'm just going to ride around. Like, mine with, is walking distance, too, right? I'm just going right to ride on. around with a bullhorn and say, vote no on everything. <laughs> <laughs> just vote no. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Hot topics. <laughs> hey, we got uh, DJ Gigi. Gigi yeah, we got to give Gigi sweet. Uh, stop that, stop that, stop that track, Gigi sweet. A shout out. They didn't give me your props none yeah, we sure this didn't. time. There's so many haters sure, in here. Sure did. <laughs> so can we announce yes. who our DJ is? Yes, Jeez. DJ Gigi Sweet is haters. in the building. Um, sitting in for, spinning in for DJ Always, Always. who has a, um, Sweet. He has a job this evening. Is yes. that what it is? Good for him. All right, cool, cool. All right, shout out to DJ Gigi. Sweet. Uh-oh, Tita. There she go, RT. You know what that song is. Yeah, look at it. Just glistening, coming out that water in that shower. <laughs> what? Got cocoa butter on. Oh, God. Like, oh. Oh, like <laughs> you know why, Claudia? Why? Because she got a little legs up. Got a little bit of legs up. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Monkey all up. Oh, God. Hot topic. Sonny's over there rolling right now. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's been going on with Japan lately, I but saw. I've been seeing some pretty interesting trends going on over there. What's one, going on? one I posted on our Team RAR page where are they really wearing their pubes out? Is that what? Oh, it? vote yes on that. Vote yes vote on that. <laughs> yes on pubes out dress. Yeah, vote on is that. that have you seen that, Claudia? I would love to. Yeah. The, wait, yeah. what is going on? They have these like low rise jeans, and that top of their like pubic area is like exposed. And (laughs) oh, so fashionable. They've got got issues over there with the pubes. Well, this one, uh, this story is uh, Japanese adult goods company Mm. Kama Toys has unveiled the latest addition to their series of themed fragrance oils called The Smell of a Boy's Heinous. The Sandusky Collection. <laughs> what? I'll take the uh, Dookie Potpourri, please. Wow. <laughs> They're out of control over there. Mm, I'll take the smell of my them. finger. It is mm. sold under the tagline, The Forbidden Scent. Wow. Experience the smell one more time. Mm, I have that Sandusky, please. The smell that of a boy's disgusting. anus is a real anal smell smelling bottle that captures the that is... pheromone emitted from the anus of a cute wait, boy. Wait, wait, wait. So when they're anus of a cute boy. <laughs> so when they're like 
crafting this in the lab. Like, you get that at Nordstrom's? Uh, let's add a little more kickball to it. Hey, like, Larry. <laughs> you know, hey, Ch- hey Chun Lee, get over here, stick this up your butt. <laughs> We're going to sell it. I want to make iPads. Uh, Larry. <laughs> yeah. Just like my boy uh, uh, Brad Pitt is doing the um, Chanel commercials. Y'all seen? <laughs> yeah, he's doing the Chanel right. Oh, my goodness. Who's going to do that commercial? Well, this was translated. <laughs> do you like a little boy? <laughs> directly from the product page on Tom oh, Toy's smell website. Smell like a recess. <laughs> So, in other words, their product, they're, they're claiming that their product does not smell like shit. Impossible. It is purely the smell of anus. What's oh. the difference? Oh, smell like first period and uh, oh, Sudorora. Oh, God. Oh. Smells oh. like a paper router. It's described. Uh, you want to buy uh, four ounces of diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> it's on sale for you. Ah, I can, this, I can it, see the lunchbox. It's, it's like a, a large, like a, large. <laughs> Smell like a Legoland. <laughs> uh, smell the anal aroma. <laughs> so what are they, like, in the club and, like, a girl, like, a guy walks by, she's like, are you wearing smell of young man's anus? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, I am. <laughs> well, they describe the scent as a strong, musky perfume smell you tinged don't? with a pungent odor. You hmm. don't say. Tinge with a pungent odor of guilt. A fancy way of saying it smells like ass. <laughs> uh, what the? That is gross. Well, who thought of this? Yeah. Listen, I've seen a couple of videos from over there, and those people, like, there's one video. I don't know if I showed you guys back in the day. This girl had, like, a funnel <laughs> in her booty. Oh, oh my God. That? And poured in, like, a bunch of eels. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's like, healthy. That's put a healthy. whole bunch in there. And then kind of oh. kick back and then push them all out like a fireworks display. Oh, oh yeah, that's a game show over there. How many eels can you take? Right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> One, oh. two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> but who gets sexually aroused by that? Like, I just what, did. What, what, <laughs> you, you get to the point where like anal eels coming oh, out come on, is where you gotta go. I don't know. Uh, I really they have so many wild game shows over there, so I, I would love to see that. They're so good at fake hair, but just everything else. Fake, just... fake pubic hair? <sighs> Mm. Anyways, I don't know. That's disturbing, though. <laughs> that is that is crazy. Yeah, they got some they definitely have weird fetish. Like apparently, like it's big over there to uh, molest little girls on the uh, train over there. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, like they do the, uh, what's that? What's it called? Sharking or something like that? Yeah. So you know, dudes they, will go by and a little girl will be on the train, and you just go there and just molest her real quick. Like put your balls in her face or something? Uh, I don't, I don't <laughs> know how they do it. No, I mean, the, if the I was going to molest, thing. that's how I do it. I thought it. they were strict <laughs> over there. They are. That's why they wild like that. They're conflicted over there. So they have this thing called sharking. Like a woman is walking down the street or whatever, and some dude would just come up behind a, a woman in a skirt and just pull her panties down. What? Sounds like freak. Dick. Yeah. Sounds like freak dick. Ninety four. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I that mean, freak wick. I freak mean, nick. I, mean, I, heard, you heard. I heard. You heard. Like I mean, yeah. Wow, freak nick. Have you ever been to one? I went to like two. No RT? comment. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's <laughs> right. Was. Right in front of the high school. In Atlanta, too. <laughs> it's so fun. Right it, was, high it used to be fun. It, it went bad after 94. That's when it fell off. We're yeah. coming back from a uh, baseball game. If you game. ever went to Freak Nick, call us up. Wait, hold on. RT is telling us a story. Right? Uh, We're coming back from a uh, uh, baseball game and uh, on, the, on the school bus. And uh, it was jam-packed traffic, and we didn't know what it was because it was the first year it happened. Gotcha. And so we were just on the bus, and everybody, people started shaking the bus because it was just pandemonium outside, and then everybody was handing up beers on the bus. Uh, <laughs> Don't you drink that beer! Put down that goddamn beer! The coach was yelling and shit. Everybody was like, it's a light beer. beer. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so tasty, coach. Wow. We just won the ball game. We're celebrating. Hilarious. It was wild. You see a lot of brothers in, like, leather vests, pointy shoes, carrying around snakes around their neck. Girl's yeah. skirt getting lifted up. I seen a girl on the roof of a car, like just sticking her legs up and letting guys like finger her for like a dollar. Oh my like, god! Like, oh, those are fun times. Almost got, almost <laughs> got times. robbed. Almost <laughs> a melee almost ensued. I, I was in traffic uh-huh. and I was with me and uh, two other white friends of mine. We were only white people there in traffic. We just wanted to check it out. Did you so have your in traffic. In? No, it was my friend's uh, dad's Hilarious. Nova. Gotcha. It was like a, it was like a seven. It was like a seventy. It was like a seventy-two Nova. Anyway, so we sitting in traffic, and uh, right. you know, dude knocks on the window. So my dumb ass rolls down. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hey, yeah, how can I help you guys? What's going on? And uh, you know, I'm young as fuck. I don't know how old I was, sixteen or seventeen. Got you. And uh, so the dude goes, uh, "Hey, man, um, let me get twenty dollars." Wow. And I said, uh, "Break yourself, fool." Yeah. I said, uh, "No, I said I, I don't, I don't have it." He said, uh, "No, maybe you misunderstood me, motherfucker. Give me twenty dollars." And then he put his hand in his jacket. Like, yeah, it was like wow, wow, wow. So I'm sitting there wigging out, and the worst feeling ever. I looked at my friends. I like looked over to them, and they went, 
Well, he asked you. <laughs> I'm like, thanks for the help, guys. Fuck y'all. So it happened. So he had his, uh, he had, and he said it one more time. He said, motherfucker, give me $20, right? And so I sat there, and I just tried oh, to stall it. I balled my fist up. Okay. And it, it's, you just get ready to turn the radio? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Balled. <laughs> Please play a slow jam. Maybe even call this guy down. Uh, so, so, he's, you know, so I just balled my fist up. If I saw his hand move, I was going to punch right, him exactly. in the face. But I didn't want that to happen because then what does it look like? Mm-hmm. Then three white dudes are beating up a black dude in front of a thousand black people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the odds are not in our favor. Yeah, the odds are not in our favor. So then it was so, it was so stupid. He stalled me. I stalled him out for like a minute. Mm-hmm. And then after he realized I wasn't a chump and just going to give him the money, he was like, Oh, man, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you are not fucking with me, dude. You are not fucking uh, with go me. Go to the car oh, wash, guys. I just pooped on myself. <laughs> yeah. I got a new fragrance. Yeah, I, gotta, I gotta stop by this Macy's <laughs> over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I gotta ship this off to Japan. Santo scared white boy. <laughs> anal. Yeah, freak Nick anal. <laughs> freak, freak Nick scared white boy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys uh, uh, hear Hysterical. about the female uh, crackhead that uh, was arrested for uh, masturbating in Starbucks? What's wrong with that? <laughs> what the fuck? I think I saw that at my oh, family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> On up! Right after my uncle well, pissed on himself while barbecuing. Hirian was arrested this week after allegedly masturbating inside a Florida Starbucks. Wow, who won a latte? <laughs> <laughs> Yours is almost ready. <laughs> who wants a clitiate? <laughs> clitiate. <laughs> <laughs> According to the police report, the cops were called by the staff at Starbucks regarding a female that was in their lobby masturbating. Wow, look at the foam on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> When the police... <laughs> That's a big sippy cup. How are we going to sip out of that? <laughs> <laughs> when the police came um, and questioned her, she said she needed to go to the hospital. So they took her to the hospital and looked in her purse and found a crack pipe Aww. with cocaine residue. Oh, what, uh, what were the employees doing? She like, was arrested. How, how long did they let her do Because they had a good right. Wi-Fi right there. <laughs> like, how many closed lip conversations? That, I think she's masturbating. Is that lady over there masturbating? How long did it take before they finally did something? <laughs> right, all right, I know. She took a long time to bust off. You know they huddled up. They're like, all right, Steve, you go over there and stop it. Steve, Sounds like you that go time we were in Starbucks trying to come up with a name. <laughs> yes. And the old, and oh, old girl yeah. went to the... <laughs> we did have a Starbucks The old girl experience. went to the, lady, the dude's the lady, bathroom because oh, well. the lady's bathroom was out of order. Dropped the deuce. So she went in there, you know, put a number two down there and didn't flush it. So I she, make it perfume! She came back, set out everything, so my man went in there. Somalia went in there. Hey, which one of you nasty? This nasty bitch went in the bathroom and didn't even flush the toilet. But he had that uh, African accent, though, didn't so he? So Claudia and Portis <laughs> Got their little camera trying to sneak the whole goddamn get down. Trying to get on World Star. <laughs> so she's like, What? I'm gonna handle your motherfucker. You're gonna get shot. Yeah. You're gonna get shot. So Claudia's like, Are we in a bad neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of Starbucks is this? <laughs> that was funny. That was I know funny. that stuff could And happen. she went outside. It was still out there. I think she went to her trunk, didn't no, she? No, she, w- she was homeless and she had a dude. Remember, she was standing right there when we walked out. She was just standing by the building. So she just really had to take a dump in that Yeah, thing. she just had to dump. So her only mistake was just not flushing. Yeah. Because if you can't take a dump in a Starbucks, and really, you know, I what kind of country is this? Because I it was like a boo-boo of homeless lady. It was a nice fragrance. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boo-boo of homeless lady. My <laughs> man. Homeless trivial boy. Don't worry mm. about it, brother. I will go clean it for you. Very pungent. Very mm. pungent. Can I just finish this story by saying that Jennifer was uh, held in Manatee County Jail. How <laughs> What? You made that up. No, Hilarious. look. Manatee County Jail. And that's in Florida, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's where they roam. Half the crimes, that's where they roam. A lot of the crimes come from Florida. Like it's big. Uh, Crime is big in Florida. Yes. A bunch of whack jobs down there. Mm, yeah. Not a bad you job. know what? I was before the first time I ever went to Miami. I was more afraid to go to Miami than I was to New York. Really? Why? It just had a really criminal vibe out there. If you stay in South Beach, you're good. But outside of South Beach. I was about to say, these robberies are so festive. No, it was around <laughs> the time that they were robbing tourists out there. You remember the tourists were killed out there by um, some folks. Wow. This I love about South 10 Beach. or 15 years yeah, ago. South Beach hey, you with the camera. Come over no, here. No, I love Miami now. Shit. And what's that one bridge when you're coming back? So Because everybody don't want to pay that toll to get back to the city. It's that one bridge. So, like, when you leave the club at 4 or 5 in the morning, everybody's on the side of that bridge throwing up in the water over there. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know the name of that bridge. Let's attract the shocks. Yeah. A Brazilian man shows up to his own funeral. 
<laughs> a Brazilian family was stunned when their relative arrived at his own funeral <laughs> after a mix-up when the dead body was identified. The funeral of car washer Gilberto. <laughs> That's what rage. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the Brazilian punk. <laughs> was being held. 21 rag salute. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mother and father. I am not dead. <laughs> That's my whale in the casket. I'll take these strawberry air You want time. Omaha on your tire? <laughs> <laughs> One dollar extra for this. <laughs> yeah, the casket was clean as fuck. Omaha. Well, what happened was there was an accident, and the police called the guy's family to come down and identify the body. What? And and the family member came down and identified the wrong, the wrong body. Wow. Yes, am all. See, it's me, hermano. <laughs> Does he have insurance? <laughs> so after, uh, um, you know, he identified the body, they held a wake at the family home, and in comes... <laughs> Gilberto. Wow. Why y'all Gilberto. so sad? <laughs> Why am I crying? What happened? <laughs> y'all didn't make none of my favorites. <laughs> He stands up. Where's the beans and rice at? I knew you didn't like me, mother. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got my shoes on? What's going on? <laughs> I thought you were gone. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite shit. <laughs> um, British police apologized for using a stun gun on a blind man. Wow. <laughs> what could he have done possibly to make them that upset or feel threatened? Well, what happened was... He was moving that stick around. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He didn't, uh, he didn't see their side of things. <laughs> 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 what happened was they were looking for a suspect Hilarious. who was welding a sword. Ah, they were looking sword. for a suspect. Sword, and they saw this guy. <laughs> with a stick. Right. With this bendable plastic white stick. <laughs> right. With a red tip on it. With, the, with a candy cane like, yeah, tip. Yeah, yeah I mean, the candy cane come tip. Come on, Ain't now. no stronger than like a race car track. <laughs> when they told him to stop. Toy tracks. <laughs> when they told him to, <laughs> to freeze. I'm saying uh, <laughs> threat. She's not even pointy. Right. <laughs> Dull Aren't they used to like swords? Don't they know what a fucking sword looks like? I mean, the man is tapping the curb and the fire hydrant trying to get down the damn street. Hey, get that cool guy with the shades. Yeah. He's got a sword. <laughs> <laughs> He's tap dancing. He's playing the piano. I mean, how is he a threat? <laughs> hey, get that cool guy with that dog. Hey, Mr. Three Musketeer, free. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, the guy, um, when they told him to, you know. It's free. Zorro. <laughs> Gotta get him. When they told him to stop right there, hey, hey stop. Stop. <laughs> Yeah, hey, when you. They, He's like, they, who? I, yeah, right, I, who exactly. Yeah. He didn't know that they were talking to Look him. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> kept walking. You're like, motherfucker, he's blind. <laughs> right. We well, he can hear now. Don't give me sass, blindy. Yeah, but but if, if you're blind and somebody says, hey, you, stop. You're he can't like, turn around and yeah, look to But you don't, you don't know who the fuck they're talking <laughs> about. What's the point? Okay, well, that's Stanley, man. You, cool guy with the shades on at night with that dog. <laughs> <laughs> and that sword. And the thick film on your eyes. <laughs> that long, skinny sword that looks like a stick. With the sick goldfish eyes. <laughs> Hilarious. With that wandering eye. <laughs> are you constantly passing out? What are you doing over there? You with the glock uh, homer. Yeah, yeah, Want to give a couple of uh, kill yourself shout outs. Oh, what happened? You guys saw in the news, this is really, really, really sad. Okay, the let me man my who voice. let <laughs> the two little boys would not help the woman with oh, the two yeah. little boys yeah. in the storm. He should definitely kill himself. Somebody now, what should, happened? Somebody yeah, what was should this? light his house on fire. Wait a, Black minute, now, woman. wait a minute now. What happened first? Well, there was a woman. I'm, I'm going to tell something. Yeah, there. go ahead. Mm-hmm. Black woman. She had two kids, little mixed kids. And she uh, was trying to evacuate. Okay. And she was in her truck. And she was trying this to, is in New York? Yeah, trying to leave Staten Island, I believe. And... Her car got like she got into an area where the water was really high, and her car, st- her truck stalled. Mm-hmm. So she got out, and she had her kids in her arms, and the currents like s- just you know snatched Slipped them up. Away. And so she ran to the nearest house, knocked on a door, and a woman just like said, "I was I don't- a guy." It was a woman first, so uh, a woman oh, okay. too. It was two okay. people that turned around. A woman said, "I don't know you." Mm. And then she was screaming and screaming and screaming. And then she went to another house, and it was like, mm. a white man, I believe. European. And she, uh, you know. Asked him for help, and I think he just turned his light off on the porch. Is that what you got there? Yeah, he uh, would not help, so she went around to the back to try to break a window to get into the house, and they she could not get in, and the storm swept her babies away, and they later found the babies dead. And so they went, they showed the news cute cameras, went boys. to wow. his house. Cute little boys. Went to his mixed. house. No, they're just cute little boys. He claims that he didn't see the woman and the two babies, that it was a man at his door, and... He, he he made the comment, well, she shouldn't have been out in the storm anyway. 
And the sad thing is, the woman That's was terrible. married, and her husband, I think he worked for the sanitation. He was a rescue oh, worker. He was out there helping people, so people were criticizing her. Where's your husband? He was out there helping people. Right. She was trying to evacuate. Yeah, she may have left too late, whatever, but no one deserves that. Yeah, and there's so, a guy on the internet that yeah, went on this so rant. So kill yourself, about him. punks. Yeah, do we so have his kill name? yourself. Do we have his name? Hey, I don't that's have just his how name. How people are today? You just gotta realize that. Also, you know? kill yourself to Mitt everybody's Romney. Not, everybody's Mitt not Romney, like that. kill yourself. On the election oh, day, were. kill yourself. And Ann Romney too. <laughs> what happened? She's just married to that prick. <laughs> 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 no, but she made some comments about um, you know the whole equal pay for you know for women. For women. Mm -hmm. And she said that women should not want this, and no man wants a woman that wants equal pay, and you're not even going to get married. She made all these, like, ridiculous Stepford Wives, like, right. 1940s kind of comments, and it just was taking us, like, so many steps, you know, backwards. And there's so many women that are heads of the household that don't have a husband at the house. Right. And they have to support that to hold their house down and their family. And for her to suggest that women shouldn't, like, expect or require mm -hmm. to get paid. I'm not asking for, you know, a man who does, uh, you know, construction on the top of a skyscraper to be paid the same amount as a babysitter. But, you know, like, equal work, equal pay. What's the problem? Well, well first dates are expensive as shit. Yeah. And who takes <laughs> girls on dates anymore? These you know how many days? hours that is? That's like, one date is like, Three weeks of work. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But you guys aren't really, I mean, you guys really going on dates lately? Like, I really don't hear that much about it. Yeah, you take women on dates. Mm -hmm. They don't appreciate it. That's not true. We One date, you know, that's it. I do. Y'all you know. be want to go to that bullshit. It's not true. You what, bull see what, what bullshit? Because y'all want to go see fried green tomatoes and them kind of movies <laughs> and shit. Yeah. And just like when RT took the girl to the museum, I don't like the museum because it reminds me of this dude. Man, fuck that dude. This is a new experience right now. God. Bitch, enjoy this shit. Enjoy this shit See that shit picture on me. the motherfucking wall? <laughs> Look it's at that. It's a motherfucking Van Gogh, man. Somebody painted that. Somebody Look at that shit. You know what I mean? Oh, God. Somebody painted that. So y'all don't appreciate Oh, no, God, don't blink. True. Keep your eyes open. Look at y'all appreciate One of my best dates was I was dating this broke model boy, and he had no money. It was back in the day. Why well, you got to say that part? Because I, this makes the uh, story that much better. Thank you, Clyde. And it was my birthday, and he, and he couldn't really afford much, and so we went to his cousin's house mm -hmm. in the Bronx, and uh, he told me to uh, wait in the living room, mm -hmm. and so he went in the kitchen. And he turned the lights down, and he came out with his shirt off. Actually, the power a, went off. He didn't really turn it off. <laughs> too. And he had a cake that he baked himself. Aww. And it was lopsided, but he frosted it, and he sang happy birthday to me. And I thought that was so cute. With okay. his shirt off? Now, where's the butt was, part? Well, he was fine, though. No, it was all good. And I, I spent the night over there, and a roach crawled over my face. <laughs> and I him. Where's that cake? I, I, I am not that shallow. Like, I, the cake was lopsided. Where's that cake at? I thought it was so sweet. But a roach did crawl over my face. And where's that said, cake, bitch? The next day, I said, can I use your sh like a shower? I want to like, take a shower. And I swear to God, like I'm not even lying. Like a mouse came up through the drain and like poked his head up. And you know what? I Where's was that shallow. shit? <laughs> like I stayed. Oh, so you were at Disneyland? I, I tried. I tried. I tried. It's a small. Never world. again. But yeah, that was a nice day. Welcome to Critter Town. Well, right. I thought it was very thoughtful. Joe's apartment. That was very thoughtful. <laughs> Joe's apartment. Ah. I helped, I helped hey, Joe. Mom. I helped him, like, you know, put the little gout, whatever that stuff is, that grout stuff, that to fill in the oh, connection. Oh, yeah, the little sealer. So, uh, so the what do they call it? Beer, boric acid? Cock. I tried. You helped with the cock. Yeah, cock. I, tr I tried as much as I could, and then I couldn't after a while, because some of those albino roaches, they just <laughs> freaks me out. <laughs> if you look to the right, you'll see the Moroccan snake roach. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of zoo is this? <laughs> it's Reach Around Radio. It's a thought that counts. That's what I heard. The phone lines are open, 323-965-1600. And we will be right back with Teeter Sports Ticker. GG Sweet on the ones and twos. Reach That's Around. Right. One deep. One deep. One deep. One deep. One deep. 